Okay, good morning. We're here today at a client's house, a residential home today. We have the shingles behind us, how they slope back into a flat roof section. So I'll show you what it looks like. Hope you, hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you take some good points and tips, and I'll show you what the flat roof looks like. Thanks. Okay, so we've come up to the roof. You can uh, just take a look at how the roof looks. It's a, res it's a relatively small roof, around about 14 by 14, but we have pretty important details. We have the shingle detail here. This is right now where the, most of the problem is. Inside, they have a wall cavity, and that side of the roof, or that side of the interior space is a garage, and this side is interior living space, and the uh, in, inside they're getting water throughout. So we're gonna make sure our new waterproofing membrane properly goes up the shingles, we re-shingle it properly, and we tie in everything nicely. We also have some detailing here. We have some caulking we have to repair. We take this metal flashing off and probably bring a and probably bring a waterproofing membrane up and over and then reflash that. So there you go. Show you what it looks like later on. I uh, hope you learned something and thanks for staying. Ciao. Okay, welcome back. We're about a good two hours into the project. We've managed to fasten down the new soper board, which is going to act like a basically a slip sheet between the old roof and the new roof. It allows the owner not to have to tear everything up and also the issue of maybe plywood and other wood coming up. So leaves the substrate in place. We put a new uh, eighth inch layer of soper board. It's an asphaltic board and we go from there. Okay, so I'll show you where we're at. We've removed the shingles. Um, you can see the old felt and the shingles are there. We've had to remove the old felt from the board. So our new membrane is going to adhere well to the to the old wood plank. So you can see the old detailing. They've only come up this far, which is which is an issue. It should be a lot higher. This is one of the reasons why the roof was leaking. So we're going to bring a new membrane up to about here and re-shingle that whole area. So we found some issues here. You can't see we've covered them up um, with the new board, but there were some holes in the membrane and areas where water could penetrate underneath the flashing and cause damage inside. Another area here you can see, if you can get a little closer, you can see how these shingle details, there's no, there's no uh, ice and water shield along the bottom. You, you want a good three or four feet of ice and water shield. And also there was just nothing covering. It was just simply shingles lapped over like this with open exposed wood on the side. So we're going to clean that up for the homeowner and I'll show you what it looks like later. Hope you like it. And we'll bring you back when we get some base sheet down. Okay, thanks. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we've got to the point where we have completed the base sheet. We finished putting up the base sheet on all the important details. And we've also carried the base sheet up the shingle area. So what we've done, we've carried the base sheet up to here. And because we're going to add more shingles, we're going to add an ice and water shield and bring that just up to where you can see where we need it. So we're watertight in that area. This area, remember, how it was just basically the back felt was coming. We brought our base sheet up behind this metal siding and now we can roof that in. We've also closed this area in nicely. This, you can remember, you could put your hand in there. It was all open and exposed. We're also going to add a bit more ice and water shield where we're going to add some shingles. So we'll close that. We gave him a new drip flashing. His ease trough was in good condition. So there was no reason to expand the project, put a new ease trough. Ease trough's in good condition. So there you go. He's pretty much watertight now. We're going to put a cap sheet finish doing the shingles and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, welcome back. I just wanted to show you quickly how we bring the ice and water shield up, drop the felt paper down, bring the cap sheet up. Just show, I'll show you the detail now. Okay, so remember we brought the base sheet up. The base sheet's up to here. Um, we brought the cap sheet up and now we have our ice and water shield running from down there. Up. So this is a good shedding detail. We got the felt, the existing felt paper shedding over. So this is 100% watertight. All we're going to do now is shingle it. So there we go. That's how we bring the base or the roofing membrane up under the shingles and do it over. I'll show you this detail here. We remove the metal siding. We brought the the uh, roofing membrane up, and we're going to bring the new metal siding back down. So there we go. We'll show you when it's all shingled, and uh, we got finished product. Thanks. Okay, the job wrapped up nice. We're all done. I think the client's going to be thrilled. We actually actually got a great job. Um, roofing laid down great. The details uh, turned out really nice. So go ahead and take a look. Overall, basically, this was the important detail was how we tied that in. You saw it earlier in the video. I think it turned out wonderful. We had to add some extra drip flashing here. The detail behind here with the old uh, wood siding is a bit suspect the way it was done before. So we fixed that up nicely for the, con for the client. 
added some new uh, drip flashing. There was some suspect uh, details that we cocked that up nicely. So this is also here. You remember how this was all basically exposed from under the shingles down. So if you can see, I'm not going to lift it up because it's still a bit warm. So it's all nicely weather tight. It's all watertight in. We got basin cap in and flashing nice. So there you go. Legacy flat roof and sheet metal. If you're in the southwestern Ontario area, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. You can email us at info at legacyroofs.com or see us online at legacyroofs.com. Thank you very much.